already begun the, the show. We have already begun, and trust him, it's getting heated over here. But anyway, the question of the day, we are asking. And yes, Jacob Majeribu Patio Kitunam say, and then we're trying to reject it politely. You don't turn anyone down with that feeling of like, no, I don't want, you, I don't want your things. You want to be like cool, which is a camera where we're like, Aki, please. I don't know how, how we can do it better. To help us talk about this, I have a panel. Two of the, two, two of us are gentlemen, of course, me being the host, I'm Karanja Alex, but two others, me beauty, plus still the names are the same. Uh, Michelle which squared G2 and the Michelle which Michelle <laughs> Michelle Gift. <laughs> Who is Michelle Squared? <laughs> Michelle Squared. <laughs> then now we, we branch oh. it down. We come to Michelle Gift. Mm -hmm. Asante. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My name is Michelle <laughs> Gift. <laughs> uh -huh. And I'm a university student. Uh, which university? At St. Oh, Paul's, Paul's University. At St. Paul's University. St. Paul's University. Yeah. Alright, what do you take? Uh bachelor's in communication. Current is single degrees in the team. I bachelor's. Hi, let's go over to Arnold. So you quit us nigga. I'm gonna quit a nanny. I'm I'm okay with you. You okay with me? I'm not to buy. Yeah. Arnold. Yeah. All right. Good to have you, man. Thank you. Mm. So my name is Arnold. Mm -hmm. My dad calls me junior, and then um, I'm a student at, at, at the University of Nairobi. Wow. Yeah. Chiromo taking campus. I'm I'm taking biology. But okay, mama. Biology. Yeah. All right. So, so, these are the guys. These are the guys. <laughs> Someone said something of me. But anyway, we, these are the people that we talk to. And you're like, they're arguing biologically. This is your biology. I'm going to go to the party. I tell Michelle, I'm going to go to the party. What's your physics? What's your physics? Because I'm going to go to the party. It's great to have a, 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 a presenter here. My name is Michelle Ashira. I'm a broadcast journalist, uh, currently working for right here. I'm a residential right here. So make sure you catch my show tomorrow from 7 to 10.30 a.m. That is Hip Hop Thursday. And I'm glad to be here. For the first time, we are doing something together, Alex. My goodness. This mm. is so amazing. Yeah, so I feel like to this I, I hope it won't end up being like it's a it's a it's a reverted way of the story. We never know. That's why people back at home have to stay tuned. Yes, yeah. because it ends up being the other way around. And of course, I'm still having another general still on set mm -hmm. from St. Paul's. Are you by the students? Because I have two students here. Oh yeah, uh, all the way from St. Paul's University. Goodness. Yeah. So. <laughs> St. Paul's University in the house. Yeah. All right, let, let's begin the show and the discussion. Mm -hmm. Of course, keep interacting with us on our Facebook page. That is Y254. Of course, the Twitter is Y254 channel. And of course, it's YouTube to take a two, but that came as a two of you to take a two apple. Push up or two comments up, or then we get to preview. Uh, there, was a, there was a discussion we had even before we began. Mm -hmm. Of the same. As you two and then a boy child, because we're at a time of smile to Arnold. If by chance you are trying to get into someone at Chiki V, then a combia Z, your first reaction would be? Oh, I don't know what to say, but at first, in rejection, there's pain. Uh -huh. The first point a person tells you, you, you're hating at a lady, and then she's telling you, I, I'm not in this. The first thing that comes to you is, is pain of rejection. You know, you feel disappointed. Mm -hmm. And that's why most guys get it wrong. When you want to date, Yes, don't put these expectations. Are men prepared for rejection? No. <coughs> Most mm -hmm. men are not prepared for rejection. Because even the ladies, mm -hmm. you know, this, things happen so fast. Things happen so fast. Before you know it, you think you have this, this lady and then I'm part of the you know? Okay, where will you go? Where will you go? You know, you think it's your girlfriend, then you put a town on a pot and a chaliake. That's how things happen. Okay, who, who, so is, who is lying to who? Let, let me, let me, let me shall tell us this. Who is lying to who? Who is lying to? That's a very good question. But let's start by saying that when it comes to relationship, if you're looking forward to, uh, you like someone, right? I always say you don't have Im investing emotions. You should, you're not supposed to invest mm -hmm. emotions earlier on in any mm -hmm. relationship. You have to first engage with the person, know their personality. Does it click with yours? You know, do you, you do you guys have the same? Uh, uh, let me not even go to specific mm -hmm. the things that interest you. Do they are they clicking with the other person? You don't have to rush into a relationship and now start investing emotions. And that's where people go wrong. Start investing emotions earlier on in a relationship. Yeah. So people invest emotions. And you should be in a position whereby you. So but it's not rocket science. Emotions, you, you can actually control emotions. And that's why uh, men actually 
men are we quite ahead when it comes to investment of emotions. Mm -hmm. They know these things. And that's why you can find a man uh, probably dating two or three other women. But women are always, to me talk at, in terms of where we come from, like uh, being nurtured and brought up. We are emotionally beings, mm -hmm. yeah? But being in a point of you understand that you're not supposed to invest emotions. Are they all in a relationship? Yeah. But, but it's supposed to be at the end of the day because it's a two-way thing. Yes, yes. So you will, there, there are certain things that you're looking for mm -hmm. as a woman, right? Uh, so you uh, looking for yeah wow, is everyone is looking for something uh -huh. when you get into a relationship not just getting it because I want to get in a relationship you, there is something you're looking for Michelle is like yeah 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 Michelle gift is actually a great because it's true <laughs> so you don't have to invest uh, quite early and rejection is there and people should actually you know it's part of probably life. probably your worldview is different uh, what, what, what's your take uh, my take is pretty much the same as hers. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. You shouldn't invest in a relationship. You shouldn't get into a relationship just because people are in a, in one. Mm -hmm. There's something you're looking for. Yeah. You must, okay, have you ever thought of that? People looking for something before you even think about who reject you? I, I think for ladies, it's a, it's a checklist or stuff. <laughs> For ladies, it's a Men as a vision is in the house. Thank you, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I know that but I'm going to go up for I think uh, <laughs> before you give this guy hints, you know, mm. obviously there are hints. And the ladies, kuna vila wana penda kugeji ya ni vila mbavu wana wana kueka holy. They tell you yes and then some no. So ukwe hapo. So kama kuna siku moja something that happened, with, with this other guy, I, I'll come back to this oh, guy. Okay. So we have several options. Yeah, kuna msewa kredo. Then kuna msewa... So who do you turn chief, down at this time? Kuna chifa mbaya na solve the Are issue she has. There are many guys, and I know it. Before you speak to a lady, she has options. So who, who should we be looking at in terms of like the checklist? Because I'm going to say, CC to kuna nakitu tulangaluka introduce the checklist. I want to tell men, don't invest in emotions as fast, because the signs on the wall. <laughs> if you see you're forcing something from the first day, just let it go. Atakama and Bogi may request your, your, your dem, just, just let it go. Because in the long run, you'll mm -hmm. be hurt in the end. And then one thing, let your no be a no as a lady. Okay. Yeah. You know, mm. question of debate. A no is a no? A yes is not a yes Sorry. or something? Yeah. Uh, I would like to agree with uh, uh, not right. agree, because I feel like everyone is You really say you agree. So it's okay, let's agree. We, we, are, we have a section of ladies uh, who have a couple of uh, men under their stakes. And it's, it's something that's still going on from young ladies. And um, in terms of men, uh, I feel it's, 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 it's double standards. You also, you as a guy, or even guys back at home, young, young men, I'm so sure you have a couple of ladies under your stakes. So it, it, at the end of the day, it feels double standards when you say, like, a lady, kuna ula wa kredo, kuna wa kupeleka salon, kuna mwenye ataklipia, kuna nini ingine for the nails. ladies? Huh? Your nails. Eh, hey, taking care of your nails Ta, and papa. everything that. So, we, you, you'll meet... You have a list of by yourself, yeah. You can at least yeah, say, you know, who you are funding your yeah. So, let's get a gift and say, yeah, but it's something <laughs> that's going on in the street. <laughs> I'm not saying that we are into this, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying that we have young ladies who are into this, mm -hmm. and... Yeah. Okay. Something let, going let, on. Let's talk about this, Michelle. Yes. Or rather, let me call you gift then, yeah. Michelle. Because we're talking about Michelle, Afu and Michelle are no. Yeah. How, how do you? How do you? In the, in the best and easiest way, say not to a nagging guy, like he's a crazy one. How do you politely? Okay. In the most. An easy way. In the most politest way, maybe just tell them you're not ready. Just please, I'm not. Oh, he's not. Uh, you're not as a lady. Um, as a lady. Uh -huh. Who should say that I'm not ready? I think the lady should say that. Okay. Where, where, what do you use to make sure? Let me tell you. Okay, let me know as well. When you tell a guy that you're not ready, uh -huh. I feel like this is not going to be a way to do Like the person will just stick around. So when you're not going to be able to stick around, you know, you're not going to be able to do it Because that's not just so you're not ready. So he, he won't... I've seen this. Like I've experienced it, like he will feel like you're not ready, so mm -hmm. I'm just going to wait until mm -hmm. you're ready. Well, I'm, you know, going out on a, being with other people, so you're just like keeping you pending. That's okay, the right then tell us how do you do it politely? Because I'm a Sama. Like, straight up, just yeah? be straight up. Just don't beat around the bush. Just tell the person that you're not interested. Politely, Michelle. Politely. You don't hurt anyone. <laughs> yes, you are, you, there's a way you can go around. Okay, people, let's say right? it's me then. Let, then do it. Like uh, you don't hurt me. Uh huh. 
you don't have, I'm not gonna give you money like here. No, later. Wait, what, what are we talking about? <laughs> are you talking about money? <laughs> then I bring you down and you're like, huh? You first of all, the most uh, okay, something that I've seen in work, it's mentioned like you're in a relationship mm -hmm. probably, and then uh, you state that you're in a, in a stable relationship and you're not looking for someone else. But now, yeah, that, okay. that actually works magic. That's that, that. <laughs> 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 like, like, Arnold, what, what do you think? If, if a chick was to turn you down, like, by the way, you're trying to offer out, yeah? yeah. A date out, then sounds like, ah, Z. It hurts at first. Mm -hmm. But you have to put your ego behind and everything and know that if you want to force this thing, it's going to, it's going to hurt you even more in the end. And, and maybe that's what I'm saying, like, like, like for ladies, uh, you said you are emotional beings. Mm -hmm. You are. Uh, it's just don't don't let the emotions of of Unajaribu not to hurt this guy make you do some things that are going to hurt him in the, in the long run more than being honest. You know, don't 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 compromise who you are because you you don't want to hurt this person. Just be honest and be honest in a nice way. Like uh, I find Kufika. At the extreme of of Kubeba Mashoka, like it's been happening. There's a sad thing that happened some time back. I think there's some rejection, and then something happened. The lady was killed, and many more. I don't think in a Fakufika hapo. I don't even want to Yeah. I feel like uh, yeah. the society. Uh -huh. no, let's, let's leave the society alone with this. I feel like young people, even uh, when being brought up in terms of. Uh, from back home to school. People should be nurtured or wired in a way that they accept rejection because uh, a couple rejection is, it's, um, it leads you to a lane of success. It makes you like you're quite close towards what you want. Probably you're looking for a job, right? Mm -hmm. You get <coughs> rejected. That is something that you're supposed to know. You go, you'll go to auditions to say that you're not fitting for this particular role. You go to um, a job interview. They'll tell you, no, we're not looking for you right now. We're uh, not looking for the person. It's the same thing. I just the same thing when mm -hmm. you come into a relationship. Understand that you'll meet people that you're interested in them and they won't be interested in you. And that is Ooh. okay. That is okay. Ooh. So you still go on working on yourself, self-development, they say. Uh -huh. uh, focus on what you love. Just go on with life. So it's not the said. end of the life. It's not the end of they need the road to whatever you want. So yes. make sure you just... Someone said this that it's the hardest thing and the toughest thing to handle it is to love someone who doesn't love you yes and it's the hardest thing ever to try to make that person to love you <laughs> what's your take on that it's hard mm -hmm. you know love this person nika maila like you, you love the person like for real but she doesn't love you back it happens for most guys mm -hmm. so you, you like so men are the most victims here yeah Hey, so. Is there something called so. love on the first sight? Oh, I've heard it on the side. Because, yeah, because he has spoken about uh -huh. uh, there's a point where you can love someone, and you know, maybe the, it can happen in a scenario whereby there's a long, uh, it was a long relationship, and the person is lying to you. Maybe that, but you can just. For me, I believe you can just meet someone and you tell them that you love them and you want to set a life That's with a, there's them. There's a difference between meeting someone for the first time and telling them that you love them yes. and meeting someone and loving them for the first sight without even telling them. Okay. Y you see, like for mm -hmm. instance, I meet like this chick was street. Then I'm like, man, I love this chick. There's a difference between like me, that is love, like the the appearance. Yeah. <laughs> yes, because you, you're meeting the first time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's say okay. All right, let's yes. just say let's just say you love the appearance and yeah. everything else. Then you're like, I, I love this chick. Yeah. Then you keep it to yourself mm -hmm. until some other time. That's when you'll be like, okay, now uh, time has come for me to tell you the hard truth and this the reality. Those are two different things. So first of all, you said like you've met the person, you you love them, but you're not telling them. I feel like when you meet someone, you like them, mm -hmm. then you get to know them. Then that's when love comes in. Now, let's say that another guy is nagging, really pushing on what you don't like. How do you address that politely? I said it, it becomes the, the straight up aspect. And if that's they polite. Don't, yes, being honest. That's uh, what I'm saying. I know Arnold is like, ah. Huh? <laughs> when you say, like, you're interested with, with me, or you want us to have a relationship, and I come straight up to you, I tell you, and I'm honest, that I am not, I don't feel this vibe, you know. Uh, uh, <laughs> 
I, I bet Arnold you're gonna react like. Uh, I think the first thing is there are signs on the wall every time mm. before we start anything. So I'm not going to be soft on men here. Okay, okay. If you see this lady, you're trying to talk to her the first time, the second time, you like you you, you do one every time you answer the, the the conversation and mm -hmm. everything. She's not interested in you. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. And eventually you have to let these feelings go because you can't keep on like you feeling excited, you know, you're looking at your phone waiting for her to text you every time, every time. Then you could have mm -hmm. you like very disappointed. So I think uh on being polite in saying no, it can start with the signs on the wall. Like from the very first time you're meeting. All right. But we have people who don't actually say no. Okay. We have what ladies they, who don't they say do? no. They will string you along. Because you have something called filler dates. <laughs> and I was actually talking to you about this and you were like, it's yeah. wrong. But it's happening. We have people who just go on dates to just... Because uh, let's, let's look at it, right? I'm from a heartful relationship, mm -hmm. yes? Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm in the process of healing or... I look at... So the guy approaches me, I'm not interested in them. But I know that this person is well off, probably financially. We have ladies who do filler dates. But they will go on dates with you, but they have no interest in you. So that's also another mistake that ladies do. All right. Section uh, of ladies, yeah. Let me talk to, to Gift. Have you ever been a victim of this? Yeah. Uh, how did you react? Vigorously? Um, as Arnold said, you should always be ready for anything. Mm -hmm. you, should, you should learn to, to take things calmly. Not to hurt yourself. You should always be ready Are you for sure, anything. Gift, you never had the pillow moment? Those pillow moments you get to cry in the house all by yourself? I have. You, thank you. At least to <laughs> Makubali. At least that we, we are not fair enough to say that uh, someone has agreed to this. Have you ever had those pillow moments after rejection? As a man, and you know, African men, we have been taught like men don't cry. You know. Yeah. I, I <laughs> can <laughs> say that as a man, you have. Yeah. What, I have. what had transpired? Do you are rejected fully in full measure? No, I was. I was. I was being tagged along. Like I think for for two to three years. Wow, that's a know. long time frame. <laughs> for two, two to three years, and then I there were signs on the wall. But why didn't you exit if there were signs? There were signs on the wall. They are well spaced, yes, and a pinch of no. So I was, I was, I was always on the leash of this lady, and then when it happened, I I came to realize I was I was playing the second fiddle then. So that is why you talked about the issue of the checklist. Yeah. Because the people who come with that checklist and you're like, uh, oh, I'm a good exam room, could you examine how many? You know, she came on to say I, I had a good heart, so. Even if you look like you told me off the air, like, man, yeah. this guy looks like he has a good heart. Yeah, but like I moved types. on. <laughs> That's also until the guys out here, mm -hmm. there is power in moving on, there's power in starting over. All right. There's freedom in, in doing things your way. I talk here too, huh? yeah. There's a word that you use in English, jilt. That is the word that you use when you're jilted. Mm. I'm not trying to, to comfort the young men that have been mine, jilted. Mine was summer, it was when you were summer young, uh -huh. and then we we're here, we are 18, almost 19, so when you realize things are happening too fast, then you have to move on. I mean, your life is not going to be determined by this one relationship, you know. By this one lady you've invested your feelings on, then you're, you, you, you're waking up, you're realizing that. She's not into you. So is it that uh, you uh, you ejected yourself or you exited Ama? What happened? I'm not too proud. <laughs> I have to be honest. It was too hard. Uh -huh. It was hard. Okay. Okay. And uh, I just I just I just took time, mm -hmm. long time, long time until I came to realize I'm over it. Then I'm here in love with other things. Uh, which other things? I I resorted to do things that make me happy. Mm. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I, even the, the, Michelle Square, they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, guys, let's get to have a look uh, of what you're saying on social media, on a Facebook page. I have a uh, solo master key. That is Kenya Kitale. We are watching your principles. will help you to filter the flats. And Wakijua, you are always serious. You get serious ones only. Is that true? Like, if I'm serious, you're going to be serious when you're coming to me. That is the standard raised. Ah, I like what you said. I really do. I Is it about do. standards? 
Yes, the standards, the standards are there. And the joke kwamba ni maneno ambayo yametupwa sana at a lady with standards. Just put them as a walls like you know what you want so you're going to block things that. Is the same thing with life. No, I don't know why people complicate these uh -huh. issues or like Make it simple standards. for us. Make it simple for us. So you have standards, right? Mm -hmm. You know what you're looking for. Probably you're looking for someone, a man who you, uh, when you look at that person, you find a mentor. You're looking for a man who is, um, is going to be there for you emotionally. Mm -hmm. You know, certain things that you're looking for, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to target that. Anything else that comes within those lanes, you know, you stick, you stick to your lane, right? All right. So, do, do you think men have a way of raising a standard or it's just ladies? Uh, personally, I think it's the ladies. Uh -huh. It's the ladies. Guys, because, it's anyone who comes along. Because <laughs> if, if, you see, if you see the way the society is structured and our economy and everything. No, economy. No, no, no. I'm saying this, all these things, they, 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 they ultimately uh -huh. add up to dating and stuff. So when you see everything how it is set from education and everything, it's like the girl child has been given an elevation. Mm. Okay. So, kuna pata the ladies, they raise their standards because they have options. Okay, okay. L let me go to Michelle. Do you think your upbringing determines your standard? It does. Very much. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ah, so, this so. is interesting. Okay. okay. <laughs> I want you. Uh -huh. It does. Um, if you're brought up in a way, um, maybe your, your parents, let's say your mom, tells you um, it's okay for you to do things on your own. Don't uh, wait for a man to come and do this for oh, you. Yes. Mm -hmm. When a man approaches you and he starts saying, I'll be doing this for you, doing this for you, <laughs> you'll be like, Yo, they do. wait, what are you saying? I can do this for myself. I was mm -hmm. brought up in a way that mama told me, do it on your own. That mama and you've actually yeah, seen do her it doing on your own. it, so it's going to be quite easier to do it. Are you trying to, okay, I don't, I don't want to bring in another topic of mama thing because we have mamas, oh, mamas okay. everyone has their mama baba thing. It's basically like where you're brought up, the exposure. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you, if you can see your mother taking care of uh, uh, bringing her share of value to the table, probably financially or whatever aspect she's bringing to the table. If she can do it and then you're out here, you probably even do better because you've seen from, a, you've seen like umewona kutoka kwa azazi. So you will, it's something that you'll tag along with it. Like Which now relates even to how you, 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 you handle your rejection. Yes. All right. L l okay, now we, t we have Charles Ireri wa Shamata. Watching from Shamata, Vega Manze Charles. Uh, then we have the, G the Guillermo Boy. Hey, morning, locked Kutoka Kole Mazeras. First, I'd like to appreciate Mary's work, and I like her content that is previously on Strength of a Woman. May God bless her, and I like to save my youth, Manze Mtaani. I love the designs. You saw the, the, uh -huh. the ladies. Yeah, yeah, from the Strength yeah, of a Woman. That unique. was amazing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Second up was studio, Mkopoa Manze by being yourself and avoiding being fake. That is how we usually are here at 254. We don't, we don't fake things. We become so real and authentic, we finish up things. Kasisi, MJ, morning. Then we have Rosie, baby, Irungo. Big up, good morning. Thika tuned. Thanks so much, Rosie. What about Thika, Makongeni, Nauko Yote? Thank you very much. Ugali Ajana. What a name. Siki Lamara, we get topics about your girlfriend or boyfriend kwa conversation. Hiyo design huu di sana. <laughs> mafisi na mafisi let. Niko kilifi of course. No wanda even jina yaya ina kubitre bro. <laughs> then you have David Opanda. You can avoid it by talking. But not to be extremely rude. Ama. Huh? Ama Opanda from Kitale. I'm Opanda from Kitale. All so right. anasema kumbe you. you... There are people extremely rude. Oh okay. And people were like. But hey, I have no time for you. So you better leave. Yeah we have people like that. Huh? You have something, I see you say like you have I have it. something to say. Um, when it comes to being polite and being rude, it depends on how that person approached you. <laughs> if the person approached you in a good way and you just politely turned it down, then they still insist on it. At some point, it, it just uh, pieces you and you have no option but to be rude and just to keep them off in a, you know, Yeah, there's, all, in there's a strong way. Uh, couple of aspects you by probably walking by the road and someone just approaches you in mm -hmm. a wrong way. It, uh, a thin line on sexual harassment, mm -hmm. I say, and say they're interested in it. So probably you, you won't be kind to that person. Yeah. Yes. All right, so it's, it's not the how, how it all emerges and how it comes out mm -hmm. and how you came. That plays a role, yeah. Do you think if I, if, rather, let me not tease myself because you're like, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't come to you politely and then you're like, someone comes and give you another environment that is so cool more than 
What do you mean by environment which is so-called? Do you know that women are meant to adapt to the environment given? Uh, right. It is a fact. Mm -hmm. Women usually adapt to the environment. It's like a seed. Mm -hmm. When a seed is placed in the right soil, it will definitely germinate. Now, women are meant to be like that. They, they, they accommodate the soil, the, rather the environment that is then given. Then, would you say it's okay when... when uh, Men are named to be visual, right? Mm -hmm. Men are visual. Mm -hmm. Then would you say that women uh, get attracted to a man who uh, is providing the right environment? What is the right environment? The right environment simply means a place where can I can actually to your, nurture me. To your story, can relate to your life, can relate to your character, and such kind of stuff. Everyone can relate to that, every woman. Not everyone. Every woman. That is why you cannot date me, because we may not. You cannot date another guy because they, you may not. Now, when it comes down to someone who is mm. like, Arnold is really giving me the right environment, but these are the guy, Badu, what was Africa Bay? Environment, unamanisha physical things. Okay, every, in every aspect, mm -hmm. every aspect that you want to give it, every aspect of it, it can flow with it within a span mm. of a minute. Mm. Then by the time you're thinking of changing the gears, then here is now your main guy. And like uh, proposing. How do what you if you have all the physical things, but when I'm <coughs> looking at your vision and your goals in that life, they do not align with incorporates mine. everything. Okay, then I'm going to be attracted to that. That's the thing that I'm talking about. Now, how do you tell this other guy like uh, Z? I work. I'm going to be. I'm going to be kind to you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be kind? <laughs> I'm going to be kind to you and tell you that actually I have met someone mm -hmm. who I am, my vision, his goals and mine are aligning. So yeah. 